I am Charlotte and you are watching Chalking with Charlotte. I am an independent designer with Chalkature. We are a high-end DIY company that have wonderful silk screen reusable transfers. We have our Chalkology paste and our inks that are permanent once, uh, once heat set. So tonight we're just going to do something kind of quick. Um, this is just a frame that I got that I'm glad I looked at the back because I was going to put it on the wrong side. And then I put a piece of board in here that I had painted. Um, so nothing, nothing major. I think I am going to put a little distressing on this maybe. Let's look and see what I got going. It's a little too white for me. I wonder if I put this one. I haven't used this color. So we'll kind of see what it looks like. Um, we may hate it. And if we totally hate it, then we'll paint the board. Because I kind of wish it were more of a cream than this stark white. Because we're going to be doing a fall. You know what? I think I'm not going to hate this. All right, all right. I I might be able to live with it. Might be able to. Okay, this is um what is this color? This is just an antique linen. So I'm just gonna kind of go over it because I just I wanted to judge it, judge it. How do you say that word? Judge it up. I don't even know how you say that word. You know, I just, I wanted to, I don't know. I, I can't think of the word, you guys. If you think of the word, tell me what that word is. It, it needed something. So I needed to do something to it, to whatever. Yeah. Oh, I got some burnt. I got some burnt today. So it was a great day. I actually got to see my grandkids. With the mask on, so I probably have a really fun lines on my face. Okay, let me put my hair up because we're going to get down to business and I'm hot. Hot, hot. Okay. So, I'm going to kind of wipe this down a little bit. I wish I could get those corners a little better, but I think I can take out the harshness. Just like this. There we go. All right. So now I, I'm not I'm not hating on that. I think I think I can live with that. Look at that. That kind of just gave it a. It gave it. I don't know. Um. For lack of a better word, it kind of aged it. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for. I am going to take this out of here real quick because I think I want to get those edges and do them a little darker on those edges just so that I don't have that stark white. Let's see. We want... Do I have a walnut out already? I, You know, I really like these distressing inks, these Tom Holtz Distressing Inks. Um, I, I haven't played with them a lot. Have, have you guys like done a lot of inking? I, I haven't done a lot of inking, but I'm, I'm starting to kind of get into it. So, because I like, I like the way that it, it kind of you know, I mean, look at what it did. It took that stark white and just so quick turned it into this beautiful, like, vintageness. Like I said, I make up my words, guys. I make up my words. All right, so I'm going to, this is the walnut, and I'm just going to go around the edges because I want, I want to give it some depth on the edges. And like I said, this is just an old frame that I got at, oh, I don't know, probably a thrift store or a yard sale maybe a year ago because I haven't been to any yard sales. I have seen a few and I've been like, ah, I want to stop. And Hubs is like, no. 
the corona. I'm like, I'll stay away from the people. I'm fine. Just let me, just let me stop. I just need to stop. Okay, so now I'm just kind of wiping it down because I don't want it super, super dark. So just kind of wiping this down and I may have to put a little bit of that other color back in the middle because now that I got my handprint in the middle. But see, look, I'm not hating on that. That's pretty cool. That just like gave it some, that judging up that I wanted. It gave it some of that, some of that for me. Okay, so I'm just going back through. I'm really liking this antique linen. And I didn't do it with my little, my little pad thing because I didn't want the, the walnut so much in the middle. So now I'm going to take this and just run this over it. And I still have to wax this because this is not a chalkboard or anything. So I still need to wax. Um, and the reason why I wax is because then um, the board will accept the paste better and it won't take my, my um, whatchamacallit up, my adhesive. So I see we got eyeballs in the house. You guys, say hi. Don't, don't make me just like sit here and talk to myself, please. Please, please. And if you guys are on another, another group or something, um, I think if you click on me, it'll bring you to my group. To my business page, which is um, Talking with Charlotte. And this is my shopping page. My website, Talking with Charlotte. So you got chalkcouture.com slash Talking with Charlotte. And for Facebook, it's just Talking with Charlotte. Alright, so we're going to put a little, a little wax on this. Just so that the adhesive does not stick to it. And then I'm going to put this right back in that frame. And I just cut this out. This is just a piece of like underlayment. Wood underlayment. Hey Cassandra, how are you? I know, isn't that cool? And it's like, all I did was just put... Just put a little distressing ink on it. So now we're going to get to the fun stuff. Because it was just that like stark white chalk paint. So I am, I think I am going to go ahead and like wax this up a little bit. Because this is like pretty dried out. Like I said, I mean, I picked it up yard sale somewhere, thrift store, something like that. I can tell you I didn't pay over a buck. You know, and then the wood underlayment is just um, quarter inch. It's a quarter inch wood. And it still has some distressing, and but I like it. I like it a little distressed. Okay, so we're going to do a fall sign tonight. And it is one of our club um, transfers, one of our club couture transfers. Um, and our transfers, our club transfers are $19.99 a month. And you, you get like a, a, it's like the subscription boxes. It's pretty cool. So I'll show you the one that is going to be next month. I think I have it sitting over there. I did that one last night. But this one I've been wanting to do, I did it, I did it on some door tags. Uh, a few weeks ago, but I've been wanting to do, um, oops, just trying to, it's a little harder when it's wood inside here. A lot of times I'll cut down chalkboards, I'll, um, but I'm telling you, it's like, get a piece of, get a piece of wood and just paint on it. 
paint on the backer of, of the frame, whatever, I mean, and, and you're going to be able to put in a piece of art. So that is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm just getting some of those pieces. But see, look, I mean, it's already a, like a vintage look. And I didn't even have to break out the paints. So I'm pretty excited about that. So now what we're going to do, this, this is our fall. This is fall blessings. So this was this month's Club Couture. And next month, oh, there's that pumpkin that I was looking all over the place for. You guys, I have been remodeling my room every day. Every day I'm remodeling something in here. So nothing is completely mod remodeled. So this is this month's, this coming month's, I should say, October. That will be the transfer for this month. And it's 1999. You get three pace packets. And it's a three month commitment. You only pay the 1999 plus tax every at the beginning of the month. It's I think it's the fifth is when it um when it uh bills you and it's not like three months at a time. Yes, I hope that Cassandra, I hope that your your Sunday was good as well. Hey Amber. Hello, Veronica. David, how are you? If I, you guys, if I don't see you and I don't say hi, I am so sorry. But know that it, it, it picks and chooses the comments I get to see, okay? But if you wouldn't mind liking, actually hearts, because you know what? Facebook doesn't care about likes anymore. Um... If you wouldn't mind uh, liking and sharing to your friends, your crafty friends, your non-crafty friends, someone that you think might like something that's very easy to do and fun. I have so much fun at this. Okay, so what I just did was I fuzzed this, and I fuzzed it on my fuzzing cloth. You do not need a fuzzing cloth. You can use a towel. You can use your shirt. You can use your jeans. doesn't matter. Okay, I, I have the fuzzing cloth because it's teal. Let's be real. Just like I cut on the white lines on this transfer, a lot of times I use my trimmers that are Teflon coated. Do you need to use your trimmers that are Teflon coated? No, but they slide really nice through this transfer and they're really pretty. And they're just chalk couture. And they're just really pretty. So, I, you know, favorite color, so I had to have it. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure that all of my bubbles, my air bubbles, are out of my transfer. That is the main thing. I'm going to get all those out of the transfer. Okay, so I am going to use, I'm going to use my copper, and I'm going to use some kind of fall coloring. i got to use this Tide because favorite color, guys favorite color. There's the theme. Let's see. I'm going to go with this fig. And I want to do it green. So I think I'll do pesto. And what other color do I want? I need one. No, I don't. Yes, I do. I need one more. I need one more. Um, I could either do this or I could do that one. Which one is that? No, current jam is not a good one. So, which one do you guys think? Should it be this color? Should it be one or two? One or two. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the top. And it's going to gradiate down into one of the colors. So, so far we've got these colors that we're going to use. So which other color should we use? One or two? Two? Do I hear any more? 
choose a really pretty fall color, huh? That's a curry. That's our curry. Oh my goodness, look at that. I've got some paste blob right there. That's okay. You know what? It comes off with the water. Like I said, everything's been in a remodel in my room. Seems like every other day I'm remodeling. But I got my Glowforge in here. Um, we worked on getting the vent going today. Um, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh. Can you tell it's my favorite? I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough of that. But I should have another one back here. Here we go. We'll get all of what we can out of the other one. Because, you know, we must use every little bit. Okay. Curry it is. Curry it is. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, let me move all this stuff so that I can like breathe in here. All right, so I'm going to just put a little distilled water in it. That's what is in my mister. Mister's amazing. Do you need it? Absolutely not, but you can use a, a regular squirt bottle. It's just, it's so nice the way that it mists out and everything, but you do need distilled water, okay? And the reason why is because our pastes are non-toxic and they are, they will mold if you introduce the chances of molding, I should say, or more likely if you use regular tap water and even bottled water because um, it puts organisms into our paste and you don't want them to mold. So the absolute purest form of water is distilled water. Okay, so you wanna get it to a cake batter consistency. Is that not tied? No, oh, that's peacock. We're doing tied. And so you wanna make sure well, that was an interesting sound in there. You want to make sure that you stir, 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 and get it into that cake batter consistency. And then just add a little distilled water. And don't do it right over your work because it can splash out sometimes. I wonder how I know that one. <laughs> okay, look at how beautiful this color is. All of our colors are very rich in pigments. But it's so great. Our grandkids, our kids, our nieces, our nephews, they can all enjoy doing this because it is non-toxic. And my grandkids are loving it. So this is our pesto. And you wanna get those edges really good. Okay, and curry. I haven't used curry in almost a year. It even has like a new paste smell. I'm hoping to prep a big board this week and do a great big trick or treat one. But I didn't want to do it because I'm um, tonight because I got on so late. But you know, because I was looking for this transfer everywhere and it was with my great big huge transfers where it's not even supposed to be I'm like I don't ever lose my transfers where the heck could it be well guess what that's where it was where it wasn't supposed to be okay now this 
we shall see if we have any in here with our shimmers because this is our shimmer copper they um oh yeah we're gonna have plenty i don't usually put any distilled water in it because you're not going to get it into a cake batter consistency but look i scraped the edges and everything look at how, how much it didn't even look like there was any in here but look at how much i got isn't that awesome so it's not going to take me hardly anything because i'm only going to go down about halfway on these and then you like kind of scrape up your excess which I will do you know what I think I will go half well hello Miss Daisy how are you my dog is coming in to inspect make sure I'm doing a good job I guess Okay, so that's down a little bit lower than I was thinking, but doesn't matter, don't care. All right, I need a paper towel. I've got it all over my thumb. Okay, now I'm gonna take another squeegee. Let's see, we're gonna go here. And I'm just gonna kinda and just scrape off that excess. And that excess will go right back in its jar. I'm trying to figure out which one. I'm just not going to look. I'm just going to do it. And you do want to work fairly quickly because it can dry into your silk screen. And if it dries into your silk screen, what happens is it brings up the... The... Um, the paste with it and so you may have to wash up your transfer and washing your transfer is just use a board eraser one of our board erasers and water or use a paper towel and water or um a disinfectant wipe and um no soap And that's all it takes to clean our transfers, which I'm going to show you because I'm not even going to use, I'm just going to use mainly the squirt, squirt bottle and that's about it. Okay, so then when you go to pull it up, start at the corners and then work your way to the center and pull straight to the ceiling. You guys like what you see, pound those hearts. Okay, let's see here. All right. We're not going to use this. I'm trying to figure out what color we should do for the blessings. Okay, so now when I go around this I want to make sure that I get a good seal on my paste and so I just want to wipe it all the way around there and I'm just gonna put a little squirt oh look see look at how much I still had on there so that'll go right back in that jar takes hardly anything to use on our pieces now this one will be permanent because it's on wood but like the chalkboard one your daughter is in shock isn't it amazing I just I love it the reveal is like the best the reveal is absolutely the best um, now like I said with with this piece it it will be permanent because it is on wood but with the piece that I showed you earlier that was on the, the chalkboard. That is one of our boards, one of our chalk couture boards. And so that board is, um, since it's a chalkboard, 
all you would have to do to take it off is just squirt water on it and you can use we have a a wonderful tool that is a um a chalk scraper which i'm telling you is i love it i absolutely love it and before they came out with it i would use like old gift cards and stuff so do you absolutely need it no is it amazing yes so I'm telling you, I, I always shoot straight with you guys. I will tell you what I think you absolutely need, but you know, it's, it's just a little tool. It will not scratch your, your surfaces or anything, but, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this. I'm going to leave this one. I know I'm not going to use this one. But, um, yeah, so off of this chalkboard right here, when I'm finished with it, I can totally wash that off with just some water and my little scraper, and that's it. So that's what I love about this because my big pieces of home decor that I have in my room, I can take in my living room when I'm ready to change them out. I just get my water bottle out and I just scrape away and put on what I want next. Okay. This one didn't get done last time. And some of my pace, they've got set on their side when I was doing some remodeling. So it got the edges a little bit. So I'm just cleaning that up. All right, so I'm gonna show you how easy it is to wash up that transfer really quick. But look, see how much is left on my squeegee? And it's just a silicone squeegee. Other fun fact that our squeegees are great for is when you're using your glue gun, just set your squeegee underneath it and it can catch all the little pieces of glue and then it comes right off of it. And also, when you're pushing down with, you know how we push with our fingers when we're using our glue gun? Nope, I use my squeegee and then I don't burn my fingers. It's amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's wash up this board or this transfer. All right, now, if I were you, I would take this over to the sink and I would put it under the sink. So let's see, let's pretend this is my sink. And I'm just gonna put some water on it. Whoa, huh? I just got it on my legs. Hey, that actually felt good. Okay, so my table is not level. Fun fact, just found that out. I just put this table in here just the other day. My other table was a little more level, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip that over. And then I have my board eraser, and I'm just gonna wipe it up with my board eraser. Now, with our shimmers, you will see a lot of times you'll, you will still see a shimmer, which is fine as long as the silk screen is clean. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over. Ooh, sorry. I hate it when it does that. wipe my leg up here. <laughs> that was a little cooling. Yes, you can reuse them. They are reusable. The company says 8 to 12 times. I have some, honestly, that I have used more than 30 times. It all is in how you take care of your transfer. And then I have some that I've only gotten to use it like you know, 12, 15 times. And then I just use the paste as like a, like, um, like a sticky. And also then you can use, um, like pixie spray or something like that. Um, once, once they lose their stick completely. So I don't ever throw any of my transfers away because I figure I, I will find a way to use, get it to stick again. A lot of times too, they say 
that if you get them really super wet and you use our our scraper and you just like scrape out all the water and everything like this that a lot of times that helps the sticky come back now right now it's not sticky and the reason why is because it is wet okay so as soon as it starts to dry the sticky comes back I'm just going to grab a disinfectant wipe um, because, like I said, I'm not using the sink, so it doesn't get cleaned quite as good as a lot of running water on it. But this also will help if, if you have a transfer that's like losing its stick. Um, you can put a little disinfectant wipe on it, um, but make sure it, it's one that doesn't have bleach in it. So. Not that they're easy to find right now, but, you know. I actually got lucky the other day, and I found some at Target. Couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, I'm not even going to look. Why bother? They're never there. And I went, and they actually had them. And I was like, oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. It's a good thing I went and looked. Okay, so now, as this dries, because right now, see, no stick. So... Okay, now, see it starting starting to get some stick because it's starting to dry. So I'm just going to kind of wipe it down just so that, just to help it dry a little faster. Now, normally, if I was just doing this myself, look at that, see? Stick is back. If I was just doing it myself, then I would just like, just lay it over here on the side and just let it dry. Um, also, another thing, you want to write on the back of your backer so that you know what the back is because you want to make sure that you get it and you put it on your backer on the slick side. And sometimes, depending on the light, it may or may not look like it's the slick side. And if you didn't write on that particular side, you may or may not put it on the wrong side. Wonder who would have done something like that. Um, you would be able to get it back off. It could stretch your transfer and your transfer could curl. Um, you would still you would still be able to use your transfer but uh, your backer sheet will probably be gone. So, but our company, you can also uh, order new backer sheets. Um, but it's just easier to, you know, write on the back and put it on the correct side to begin with. Like I said, I wonder how I know these things. You know, it's like if it's something that is not supposed to be done, I probably did it. Probably. Okay, so right now, this is what we have. And, all right, my husband had my heat tool. I'm using a heat tool because I don't think it's as loud. You can use a blow dryer or you can just wait. Our shimmers do take a little bit longer to dry. Um, because I, I think we've all kind of decided that it must be like a mica powder. Oh, thank you, Amanda, for laughing at me, uh-huh. I see how you are. Yes, no, I, I did do that. And I, I swore that it is, um, it was the, the absolute wrong side. So I swore that I had it on the right side. No, that, that was, kind of had a heart failure for a minute, but I was able to, to fix it up. Okay, well, hello, Elizabeth. All right, so that's nice and dry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put blessings. And I'm trying to figure out what... We're going to fuzz this first. I don't know if I want to do... 
if I want to do the same colors as what was in here, or you know what, maybe, why don't we do a brown? What do you guys think? Because you're the same. Yeah, I know. You're, even, even my grandkids asked the other night if, if that was, if that was mom. Because Amanda's my mini me. She looks just like me. Years younger, of course. So I think, well, I might use this. I should just like put it up, but I might use it. I think what I'm going to do is, I think brown. I think brown. Because I have a bark. I could do black because the frame is black. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. And I'm just going to put that right That looks about right. Let's see. Yeah, that looks straight. Maybe a little lower. There we go. Okay, what have you guys decided on color for black? Okay, we'll do black. All right, so I'm just going to get it in here. Now, because I am doing it on a, a piece that has already been done, you can either wax it again or you can... Um, just make sure that you are only doing it on, on, um, you're only pressing like on the word because what's happening is, is you are going to rehydrate the paste underneath. And so sometimes that can pull up the paste. Okay. Black. Did I even pull that a black out? All right. Let's put our wonderful okay this is my favorite color guys and this is actually like the first jar and I've been doing this for over a year and I I love 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 this stuff okay where is black alright it's got to be up here Okay, so now this black, it's one of ours that we got, and it's kind of a marshmallowy texture. And it still works just fine. I mean, if it totally bugs, you can just get a hold of customer service, and they'll send you out another one. But it works just fine. It just is not going to get into that consistency that I was telling you about earlier. Okay, so I'm just going to move quickly, and I'm not going to press hard because I do my best for it not to bring up that second layer, or that first layer. Okay, now, there are two spots right here and right here. Now, I'm not mad that it is not completely completely on there. Let me show you. I kind of like that because I like the vintage look. If you wanted to, you could totally go right back over it. You could um, take a paintbrush and, and catch those. But I kind of like that look. What do you guys think? Oh no, Bella did it. She put it on the wrong side. Wait a minute. What comment did I?
Oh, thank you, Amanda. You're just saying that because you know you're going to look like me when you get old. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the little... All right, I'm going to put this back in. But you saw how little I used. Now tell me, would, would you be one that goes back and redoes it? Or do you... Or do you like the vintage look? You guys tell me what you think. Because I'm always interested in how people perceive the different things. I personally like the farmhousey vintage. And so to me, that is farmhousey vintage. To just have just a little kiss of it. And so to me, I'm good with it. I'm always interested in what everybody thinks. So you guys tell me, hey, Cheryl, how are you, my love? Yeah, see, I love the vintage. It's like I, I want it to be something that when I come in, it, it doesn't look like absolutely perfect. I don't, I don't need absolutely perfect. In fact, I, okay, so I've got these, and I was debating on putting them, and I don't even know if I'm going to do it, because I was debating on putting them in the corners like this, you know, like this, but I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, you totally could. Yes, you totally could. Um, let's see. I have done a uh, end table. Yeah, I, I've done my end table. What I did was I chalked the inset with chalk paint and then I, um, you know, regular chalk paint. And then I waxed it and I used, um, um, this transfer. This transfer right here, I use this, the one that made that one, I use that transfer, and I did it in, let's see, Normally, I have all my paste right here, but like I said, we're still working on it. And I did it in um, this eucalyptus, just all one color, and oh my gosh, I love it. And then I just used um, clear Krylon coat and just sprayed it really good, like about three times. Okay, guys, tell me what you guys think about these. I'm kind of, eh, see? I guess it's supposed to be wheat or something. I don't know. I I don't know that. I mean, we could just put it like in one corner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You could totally do it. Oh, my goodness. And we have, we have some gorgeous designs that are like that like we have this one right here that I'm hoping to do tomorrow night okay that is not a pot leaf that is a Japanese maple just so you know even though when I looked at it I was like um wait a minute all in the coloring I guess but um we have that we have we have a couple different ones um I wonder if I have my floral one right up here. We, I probably don't. You know what? I think it's in the catalog. Let me see. Yeah, see, here's... There's that one that's done in different colors. Um... 
but I'm all about those, those, uh, wonderful, I love the pattern ones. Okay, see this flower one right here? They did that pillow right there. It's kind of hard to see the way that they did it in this one. Uh, you can see it a little bit better the way that they did it on the tote. Because you can do this also on ink with our, I mean, also on um, fabric with our inks. Last night, um, the grandkids were, were on the other side watching, and I did their uh, t-shirts. And it's permanent once heat set. But we also, we also have a buffalo print, the buffalo check. Um, and we have a couple. Right now, our Christmas one is Joy to the World. So we have a big Joy to the World um, background piece. Um, that one I don't have in this because it's in our holiday suite and that is a, uh, digital catalog only. So that one is pinned to my business page. So make sure you like and follow so that you can, um, see that one, see all of the holiday suites. And you'll also be able to see this catalog is also digital in there and you can go to, uh, uh, chalkcouture.com slash chalking with charlotte and make sure that it's my face and then see even we even have this if you wanted like a halloween damascus obviously you're not going to want that on on your furniture um for like all year but you know and then see there's the the fall one that i just showed you Um, trying to think of another one. Here's one that is just like, it almost reminds me of spirographs or, uh, or, um, like gears and stuff. And it's, it's like this. So you can put them wherever you want. So that one's kind of fun. And then we have like the lotus flower. I wish they would come out with like a mandala. Oh, and we have the leopard print. They put the leopard print on this pillow with um, with the Fierce and Fabulous transfer. Oh, see, look. Here we go. So here's a bunch of them that we have. So there's, I mean, there's a bunch of different ones. And then we have, um, I think, three different fonts. I know, the flower is beautiful. Um, so there's so many different ones that you can totally do. And, and as long as you wax. And I use, I use this um, Johnson Paste Wax. Um, I know Menin puts out a, Menin Wax puts out a wax. Um, I used this one, um, just because that's what Lowe's had and it was easy to find. And, and you saw me use it tonight and it worked really good. Okay. What do we think? Are we doing these? I don't know. Because I'm kind of liking the simplicity of this. So you guys tell me. I'll put them on if you guys want me to. I and mean, we can put them like on the edges here or we could just leave them off or whatever. I'm, I'm totally good either way. But, um, yeah, no, you can totally put them on, um, on furniture. No problem. I've, and I, I do like the welcome boards and all that. I do all of those. And, um, the main thing is wax. See, I think it looks good how it is. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to add those. 
I was thinking maybe I need to add them and then I'm like, oh, I don't know. But, and then again, just board eraser, water, and I, I do have a disinfectant wipe in my hand because I had uh, like a little pile of ink right, or paste right there. So, you know, and you guys would just take this over to your sink so you wouldn't have to deal with um, your sponge being black. But because I'm on live with you guys, this is how I do it. And it will all get cleaned. You just want to make sure that all your silk screens get all nice and clean. And then um, once it gets, once it's sticky again and dry, then you put it right back on your backer. I think I'm going to really like that fall one. I think that one just turned out so beautiful. I like that distressing ink that we used in the beginning, too. But, yeah, no. Um, our, our paste we have that I've been using tonight, those, they work great on wood. They work um, um, great on on um on chalkboards wipe off boards windows instead of doing window cleans um yeah no all of it is done this way for me now oh thank you so much yeah, so as this gets dry, see it's starting to already get dry, so the stick is already back. Move that so I can put it back where it goes. See how sticky it is? It's like, I mean, no joke, it's stick. That's why we fuzz. We fuzz so that it does not stretch or transfer. And if you do, like, on glass or metal, um, then you want to make sure that you fuzz really, really well, and I still, I'm, I am like, I didn't used to wax so much, but now I wax a lot. It just saves so much in worrying about, um, peeling it up because I've done, uh, some, some tin signs and stuff like that. And, and I've had them curl on me. It doesn't mean that you can't use it again. It just means that, you know, it stretched your transfer a little bit. And so I really like waxing. I know some, some of um, my co-designers and stuff on my team, they don't wax and others, man, they wax everything. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in the middle with the waxing. But let's see. I can show you like a real quick one and done, what we call a one and done. I'm telling you, I got ink, I got um, stuff all over me that night. I don't know. I mean, spill water on me. So let me just wipe up my hands real quick and then I will, let's see, we can do a one and done. This is what um, my granddaughter and I did. So I did this one and um, I gave her the exact same transfer and the same pace. And um, we got on our Google call and we did it together. So, I mean, so fun. And now all the grandkids are hooked. Over there, all of those grandkids, I should say. I have another grandson, too, that he's amazing and I miss so much. But, okay. So, let's see. I can do an easy one and done. Um, I can do on this board. All right, where's my binder? Okay, here's my binder. Now, 
Now, a uh, one and done is just using one color. Oh, it's so fun. So fun. You know what? This is me today. Bless my mess. Now, I think crafting with the kids is the best. I had five kids, so now it's like, you know, and, and crafting was always such a fun thing. Okay, so first thing, bless this mess. So on the back, I am going to write what it is. I picked this one because, you know, I'm just kind of a mess. I won't be once I get my once I get my craft room all completely done. Okay, so like right now, uh, where did my fuzzing cloth go? I don't know. So you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna fuzz. Okay, just fuzz it. There we go. Got it fuzzed. So we're just gonna place it down, and if you don't like the way it is, it's like, oh, it's a little crooked. You just pull it right back up, put it exactly where you want it. Just push it down, make sure there's no air bubbles. There's a little air bubble right there. Just pull that up and push it right back down just like that. Okay, so what color do you guys want me to use? Just give me a color. Shout out any color and I'll use it. Oh, that little stink bug. No, you tell her that Grandma said it's okay and Grandma will refill her stuff. Pink. You got it. No, oh, that's current jam. That's not what we want. Let's see here. It's probably in this bucket. I'm telling you. Here it is. This is our raspberry sorbet. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? It definitely needs to be stirred. So I'm gonna get my little stir stick and just stir it up. But other than that, it is the perfect consistency. Look at that wonderful cake batter consistency right there. Okay, so then I'm just gonna take this and we're just gonna go with it. See, hardly anything on there. And we just start putting it on, scraping off the excess. And like I said, you wanna work a little quickly because that it can dry in the silk screens. Now, um, like for kids, what I would do is I would just do like the first word and then maybe pull it up because um, if they work a little slower um, or if you're working with more than one color, then I would do it that way. And it, that is called the chalk and pull method or paste and pull method. There we go. And then I am just putting all that right back in there. But you can see that I took off the excess to where you can see the words again. And there we go. That is a one and done. It took hardly anything 
It's like I think I waste more on my stir stick than anything else. So hardly anything used. All right, I am going to get my rag and I'm just cleaning up the edges because like I said, it has been on its side. You should have seen it last night. All of my inks, because we did t-shirts last night. So if you guys missed that, make sure you go back and watch it. It was really cool. Um, I did t-shirts for the grandkids and they had all picked out their transfers and everything beforehand and their colors so I knew everything they wanted and um, they were so cute but and then we I did their shirts and heat set them and everything and with our inks the only difference is it's permanent once heat set and the lids are white. So then you, um, with heat setting, it's just if you have an easy press, you do 305 at um, 30 second intervals. Um, and if you don't have an easy press, you would do, um, you can do a medium iron for four minutes with just continuous movement. And you're gonna do front and back of your design. See, and we're already sticky. And that's all there is. So super easy. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, now, now the fun stuff, the fun stuff, getting down to business here a little bit. Um, so there are three ways to um, experience Chalk Couture. There is one, go to my, go to my website and shop. Is that straight? Why do I feel like this is so crooked? Can you guys see that good? Chalkcouture.com slash Chalking with Charlotte. So you can go to my website and you can, um, you can shop. You can, um, you can sign up. You can go to my website. Again, make sure it's me. I think my husband's in the picture also. And um, you can go, you can join our club. Our club couture is $19.99 a month. It is a three month commitment, but you do not get charged. Um, well, it's $19.99 plus tax, you know, because Uncle Sam's got to have his. So, um, but you do not get charged until the fifth of the month. Next month's is this one, and it comes in a pretty envelope with three paste packets. Then all you need is squeegee, but we also have Kickstarter kits that are $69.99 um, plus tax and shipping. Okay, now that, it's, now that it's drying, it goes to a little bit deeper. I think it is such a pretty color. And, um, so anyways, um, we do have a Kickstarter kit. It comes with two surfaces, two board erasers. I know my board eraser looks really sad after tonight. Um, a small squeegee, which is this one compared to the mini squeegees that I use. I use a lot of mini squeegees and they come in like a 12 pack. Um, and you will get a new transfer every month. So this was this month. This is next month. And like I said, it's a three month commitment. After three months, you can bail out whenever you want. I don't know how stringent they are on the three month thing. But, um, or the third and final one is to become a designer and join my team and get 40% off all the time. Um, and get a one time 15% off 
um, coupon that you can add with the 15% coupon. Um, so the 15 and the 40%, yeah, you can add both of those. Okay. You, you smelling what I'm stepping in here? Anyways, um, so then, and become part of my team, which we have a wonderful chalk team. Um, I absolutely love my peeps in chalk couture. And, um, and I'm not just saying in just my line, but I'm saying my upline and everything. Everybody is amazing in our, in our chalk family. And, um, so then you would get 40% off all the time. And that is $99, um, plus tax and shipping. So if you have any questions or, um, what, or if, um, I can help you in any way, just reach out. But like I said, I mean, go to chocature.com, uh, slash chalking with Charlotte and, and you can see, you'll see join, you'll see club, um, and you can see all of that. I'm going to get my bot hooked up but it hasn't happened yet so um do that also if you're watching the replay make sure that you put hashtag replay and you guys make sure that you um like and follow my page um also join my vip page once i get up to 100 shares then we're going to start doing um some fun sales in there and everything um and oh and also on the club they do something different every month. Like this month has been, I think there's like seven or eight transfers that are old transfers that we can't even get. And they're selling them for like five, six dollars a transfer. And, um, and like I said, I can't even get them. So that's a fun one. But oh my gosh, look at, I am loving the colors on this and how vintage it looks and everything. I, I'm telling you, I just, I love, I love the product. I love the people in it. It's just so much fun. And let me show you my wall. This is what we've done over the last month. Not all of it, you know. This one over here was so much fun because I did this with my grands. And they helped me pick colors. And this is just a reverse canvas. So, and if you don't know how to do reverse canvas, check out that one because I show how to do that and my push pin came undone. Let's see if I can get you over to the other side and show you some of the other stuff that's been done. So, yeah. Definitely let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I'm always here to help. And, you know, it's just it's so much fun to do. But ask my granddaughter if she's addicted and she won't let anybody else in the house do it. And I brought them other, uh, other boards and stuff to do it. So now I'm going to have to talk to that girl. <laughs> I have to bring her another transfer. Oh. Oh my goodness. That little stinker butt. It'd be better to get another transfer. Stinker butt. Grandma's going to get her. I'll talk to her. Because the other kids want to do it too. But. Or else I'll just drop off another transfer that's for Kat. And then what's she going to do? <laughs> oh, kids. They're so fun. Anyways, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Oh, and see, look. This, this pumpkin. This is a really big transfer. This is only partial pumpkin. It also comes with the pumpkin faces and... Jack-o-lantern shining. Let me go grab that. Let me show you guys that because that one turned out super cute. I don't think I put it outside yet. Okay. This is what we did last time with our fall blessings. 
The last time I used this transfer, so let me put this down so that you can see it. These are door tags that I made, and I just made them out of a wipe-off board material, and the back is like an MDF, so that's why it's dark. See, but look, on the back, it's totally white. And then this guy, I used, so I used, this transfer also comes with these pumpkins. I used the faces that come on that transfer and then the sign. The sign is kind of hard to read because of the white balance here. Jack-o'-lantern shining bright. Um, but these pumpkins right here, I use this transfer. And I need to hang these up. We've been getting our, um, all of our stuff together. Aren't they adorable? They are so adorable. And then let me show you. I can I can make one or um, you can uh, buy the transfer and make it yourself. Look at this. This is just the Tide Pods. And then these are cutouts. These are the faces that were put on our cutouts. Isn't that cute? And then we also have other, other um, background pieces that you can put on the pumpkins or you can make little signs with the pumpkins. But see, here's here's the one that I was talking about with with the Halloween um, background. Oh, you know what? I gotta turn you guys. You guys can't even read nothing. There we go. See. And there's our house cutouts. That has family on it. I'm trying to go slow so you don't get sick. Okay, now this one is one of our our chalk kitchen um, boards. So this, once the holiday is over, I will just wash that off and I'll put something else probably for Christmas. This one is a, a frame that we found in a, uh, oh gosh, an antique store. And I just put this like black um, chalk plastic. It's a black sign plastic. So there's so much you can do. Even, even my kitchen measurements over there, that was, you know, the thing that, that is, um, shoot, let me turn you guys back around. You don't need to see all my mess. Oh, and this is a paper towel um, technique that is amazing because it is done where, where you put like kind of watered down paint and then you, pre you press your paper towel down and it makes, um, it makes like vintage wallpaper you know just from the imprint and then you pull the paper towel back up but yeah so that's kind of what I have going on in here and like I said if you have um you know I take order I take special orders to make stuff or you can buy the stuff to make yourself or you know what whatever you want to do I have so much fun with this but, and this, this might be my new piece, my new favorite piece for the year. I don't know. I have so many favorites. It's hard to choose. 
But anyways, so reach out to me if you have questions. And like I said, definitely check out my my website, um, chatcouture.com slash talking with Charlotte. And like and follow. I know, the pumpkin. The pumpkin is so adorable. I love that pumpkin. Anyways, um, so, uh, and definitely share. Share the love with people so that um, I can help grow my business and um, just bring some happiness out there. You know, that's that's my mission is bring some happiness out there because, man, this stuff can get you down just being in the house all the time. But anyways, alrighty, so definitely reach out if you have questions and I will catch you guys on the next video. Well, thank you so much for joining me on my video tonight um, or today or whenever it is that you're watching. Definitely don't forget to subscribe, follow, and hit that bell. Um, also, don't forget to uh, follow me on Facebook. Join my VIP page, uh, Talking with Charlotte VIP. And don't forget, you can join up as a designer. You can um, become a club member or you can just shop. So all links are below and I will catch you guys on the next video.